Action News. Killed at a gas station is reaching out to give courage to local doctors. Jordan Davis's parents spoke to local physician today. Their goal to encourage doctors to speak with their patients about gun safety. Earlier, Action News' Noel McLaren explained how Davis's parents want to keep other families from losing their children to violence. Of their tragedy, Jordan Davis's parents have found their voice in Jacksonville and beyond, from fighting against gun violence in Washington to now right here in our local hospitals, helping physicians at Wolfson's Children's Hospital understand what victims of gun violence and their parents need. They thought that uh, we can uh, do something to help them help us. Ron Davis and Lucia McBath were invited by doctors to speak in front of more than 25 Wolfson pediatricians today. Their hope is to give doctors the courage to talk to their patients about gun safety in the home. They are the ones that are posed with seeing the children and the teens that are coming into the emergency wards and into the hospitals that have been shot and killed and maimed by the guns. So even though it doesn't they don't think it directly affects them it does doctors would not go on camera but provided this statement in response to their meeting with jordan's parents quote i think it helped to talk with the family and see their perspective and see how as a pediatrician we could help protect our children we are supposed to be advocates for our children while jordan's parents say they never wish to be in this position with the senseless killing of their son they're making the most of the hand they've been dealt in order to help others Noel McLaren, CBS 47, Action News. The man charged with killing Jordan Davis, Michael Dunn, appeared in court today. Dunn's lawyers appealed to the judge for more time to review paperwork before their client's trial begins. Davis's parents were hoping that a trial date would be set. Dunn's next court appearance is in March. A local man is facing manslaughter charges tonight. Police say